Hello, today let's learn about some important road and traffic regulations. A vehicle being parked or driven should not cause inconvenience or endanger the safety of others. On roads having single broken line along with a single solid line, the drivers on the left of the single broken line can cross the single broken line to overtake, but must return to their side after completing the maneuver. The driver shall not drive on or over a single or double longitudinal solid line or a painted traffic island except in cases of obstructions on the road. While approaching intersections where turning lanes are marked with single solid lines, the driver shall ensure that the vehicle remains in the lanes meant for the direction of the maneuver. While trying to overtake another vehicle ahead proceeding in the same direction, a driver must not cross the solid white or yellow line dividing the road. No vehicle shall be driven at a speed exceeding the maximum or less than the minimum speed limit specified by the signages. <sighs> when not specified by the signage, no vehicle shall be driven exceeding the speed of 25 km per hour while passing by a school, hospital or a construction site or any such vulnerable area. Unless otherwise directed by a police officer, a vehicle shall always be driven on the left carriageway. A driver must keep sufficient distance from a reversing vehicle and not move towards it before it has completed its backward motion. No vehicle shall be driven or parked on a public road without displaying the registration plates. No letter, word, figure, picture or symbol other than the registration number shall be displayed, inscribed or written on the registration plate. The driver must ensure that he or she is physically and mentally fit to drive and also avoid any activities which cause a distraction. The driver must take care of vulnerable sections like pedestrians, cyclists, children, elderly and differently abled. The driver and the pillion rider must also wear helmets and drivers of four-wheelers must use seat belts. When a stop sign is displayed on the road, the driver facing the sign shall stop before the transverse stop line that precedes the stop sign and give way to the traffic on the major road. Or where a give way sign is displayed on the road supplemented by broken transverse give way road markings, the driver shall slow down and give way to the traffic on the road he is approaching and also proceed cautiously. The driver of a vehicle designated by the state government for emergency services like vehicle used as ambulance or for firefighting or other salvage purpose or as a police vehicle shall have the right of way over all other vehicles if their multi-toned horn and their flasher is on. And in case of utmost emergencies like saving a human life, the driver of an emergency vehicle can skip a red traffic light or exceed the specified speed limit or go in either direction in a no entry or one way street. A driver of a public service vehicle shall never carry an explosive or a highly flammable object or liquid. A driver shall slow down before a crossing and not enter the crossing if the crossing has been closed by barriers or the barriers have started to close. At an unguarded railway crossing, a driver shall only enter the crossing after ensuring that no rolling stock is in sight. If needed, he shall himself walk up to the crossing and check or make someone else walk up to the crossing and check if any rolling stock is in sight. While approaching a roundabout, the traffic already in the circle shall have the right of way and while changing lanes within the roundabout, the driver shall use indicators. And when approaching intersections that are not regulated by traffic signs or traffic signals, the vehicles approaching from the right shall have the right of way. The number of people in the driver's cabin of a goods carriage shall not exceed the number of people specified in the certificate of registration of that vehicle. The driver shall only use the horn when necessary. Unnecessary use of the horn is prohibited. The driver shall not sound the horn continuously or repeatedly or in longer durations than necessary or in residential areas or silent zones as indicated by the mandatory sign. No two-wheeler shall be towed by any other vehicle and while towing, the distance between the towed vehicle and the towing vehicle shall not exceed 5 meters and while towing, the maximum speed shall be 25 km per hour. 
a driver driving behind the vehicle shall keep sufficient distance from the vehicle ahead to be able to stop safely in case the vehicle ahead suddenly stops or slows down. The driver shall keep further distance from the vehicle ahead in case of rainfall, snow, storm or severe weather conditions. While driving backwards, the driver must ensure that the backward movement of the vehicle does not in any way endanger the safety of or cause undue inconvenience to anyone. A driver must indicate his intention to overtake a vehicle by blowing the horn for a very short duration or by flashing his headlights and he may overtake the vehicle if the way ahead is clear. The vehicle being overtaken shall not increase its speed or impede the safe return of the overtaking vehicle to the left lane. No vehicle shall overtake wherever there is a turn, a bend or obstruction of any kind that results in the road being not visible or near any schools, hospitals, construction zone or any vulnerable areas or wherever mandated by a no overtaking traffic sign. While passing along formations such as a funeral and other procession or a body of troops or police contingent on the march or a pack or saddle of animals or cattle, the driver shall reduce the speed of the vehicle and should stop if the formation is crossing or about to cross the road. Manual signals are most universal and reliable signals when electronic signals fail. To stop, a driver shall raise his right forearm vertically outside of and to the right of the vehicle palm to the right. To turn to the right or to drive to the right hand side, the driver shall extend his right arm in a horizontal position and turn the palm of hand to the front. To turn to the left or drive on the left hand side, the driver shall extend his right arm and rotate it in an anti-clockwise direction. To indicate to the driver of the vehicle behind him that he may overtake, the driver shall extend his right arm horizontally and to the right of the vehicle and swing the arm backward and forward in a semicircular motion. On roads with lanes, motorcyclists can filter between 3 and 4 wheeled vehicles if the difference between their speeds does not exceed 15 km per hour. The driver of a non-transport vehicle shall always carry with him the driving license, the pollution under control certificate, the certificate of registration and the certificate of insurance. The driver of a transport vehicle shall always carry with him the driving license, the certificate of insurance, the certificate of taxation, the certificate of registration and fitness certificate. Unless validly permitted by a competent authority, no driver shall put up advertisements on their vehicle or offer any goods or services on the roads. A vehicle shall not be parked or stopped at a place where the road is narrow or the view is obstructed, near or on a sharp bend, 5 meters or less before any other vehicle or a crossing or any other stop or parking reserved for buses or differently abled drivers or wherever mandated by a no parking or no stopping sign. A police officer or an authorized officer of the state government may stop your vehicle to inspect and verify the information with respect to your vehicle or the driver or other occupants of the vehicle and the driver of the vehicle or the owner of the vehicle shall comply with the instructions given. On narrow roads on the hill with vehicles going uphill and downhill, the vehicles going uphill shall have the right of way over those going downhill. While using multi-lane roads where direction arrows pointing towards a turn are marked on the road, the driver shall use that lane while making that turn. A driver who wishes to turn left or right shall clearly and in good time indicate his intention to turn by using direction indicators or appropriate hand signals and shall move well before time. Hello? Hello? The driver driving shall not use any handheld mobile phones or any other communication device. In case of a vehicle breakdown, the hazard warning lights should be switched on immediately. And when two roads merge, the traffic on the major road shall have the right of way. And in case of similar roads merging, the traffic on the right road shall have the right of way. While approaching uncontrolled pedestrian crossings, the vehicle shall slow down and stop to give way to the crossing pedestrians. And on roads with footpaths or cycle tracks, the vehicle shall not drive on these paths or tracks unless directed by a police officer. If someone has been hurt, medical assistance and the police shall be called immediately 
and the vehicle shall be moved to the side of the road if possible at the earliest. If the people involved in the accident have been stabilized, people involved should try to take pictures of the accident scene, the people involved and the vehicle. When a continuous red or amber light is displayed, the vehicle facing the light shall stop before the stop line preceding the pedestrian crossing or before the signal in case there is no crossing. When intermediate flashes of red are displayed, the vehicle shall stop before the stop line and only cross if there is no pedestrian or vehicles in the way. When intermittent flashes of amber is displayed, the vehicle shall slow down and only move ahead with caution. You are free to move on a left turn if there is no explicit sign prohibiting your left turn. In case of continuous green light, you are free to move if the way ahead is clear. But in case of green arrows, you shall only move in the direction allowed by the green arrows. When there is a police officer or any other authorized person directing the traffic by manual signals, the driver shall slow down while approaching the intersection and follow the direction. No driver shall drive with parking lights on or use high beams inappropriately or for long durations or on well lit roads. The load or any other object in the vehicle shall not extend beyond the sides of the body or the front or the rear or exceed in height or weight from the limits specified in the certificate of registration of the vehicle. Driving inside a tunnel for visibility, only dipped headlamps should be used and no vehicle shall overtake, make a U-turn, drive backwards or even stop inside a tunnel.